85 million years ago, under the shadow of giants, lived the small Notosuchus. A terrestrial relative of crocodiles, this land croc was not a true crocodilian but part of the larger group Crocodilia morpha. Notosuchus terrestrius was found in 1896. It was both one of the first species of extinct crocodile morphs found in South America and one of the first that was terrestrial. Indeed, Notosuchus terrestrius means terrestrial southern crocodile. Notosuchus lived during the late Cretaceous period about 85 million years ago and was now the Argentinian Bajo de la Carpa formation. Numerous specimens of Notosuchus have been found, with over 60 different partial or nearly complete skulls known from just Notosuchus terrestrius. Variation has been noted within these specimens, though whether this is the result of age, sexual dimorphism, new species, or mere individual variation is currently unknown. Indeed, despite the number of specimens of Notosuchus and how long it has been known to science, the amount of research relating to it has been rather limited. This may be in part because while Notosuchus possessed numerous unique skeletal features, it still held to the basic body plan of earlier land crocs. Like most terrestrial forms, Notosuchus was small, with a 1.5 meters long. The legs of Notosuchus terrestrius were also held more erect than modern crocodilians. Unlike both modern crocodilians and most of the earlier land crocs, Notosuchus had a proportionally short, deep skull. Notosuchus is currently thought to have been a predator being the Mesozoic equivalent of a monitor lizard or a scaly fox. While Notosuchus was far too small to hunt the larger species of dinosaurs as adults, likely only scavenging their carcasses, hatchlings were another story. Even the largest dinosaurs hatched from very small eggs. In the case of the sauropods, they had a quantity over quality approach, laying numerous eggs with many of them being lost to nest raiders or killed before they could reach their large size. Therefore, it's possible that more sauropods were killed by Notosuchus than by the contemporary large theropods, such as the Megaraptor and Tridivania, and the Ablosaurus via Venator, and the newly discovered Leucalcan. These large carnivorous dinosaurs would also have been vulnerable to Notosuchus when they were young, but for them growing up wouldn't have just meant safety from Notosuchus by a chance to turn the tables on it. Notosuchus would also have likely have been vulnerable to larger species of crocodilomorphs like the Baruosuchids. But in matters of life and death, Notosuchus was usually the hunter more often than it was the hunted. Besides young dinosaurs, small adults would also have been on the menu, such as the monoclawed Alvarosaurus, the small neosaurid Velocisaurus, and the flightless bird Patagoopteryx. Other potential prey included mammals, lizards, and smaller crocodilomorphs. But while now known to have been a carnivore, Notosuchus was once one of the first crocodilomorphs suggested to have been a herbivore. A paper in 2008 also came to the conclusion that Notosuchus possessed extensive soft tissue on its skull, including cheeks, fleshy lips, and even a hog-like snout. Based on this, it was suggested that Notosuchus was a reptilian analog to pigs, using its large fleshy nose to sniff the ground for roots. On the other hand, more recent studies of the skulls of Notosuchus suggest it had much less soft tissue than once thought, closer to that of other reptiles. Analysis of the teeth of both it and other land crocs showed that the teeth of Notosuchus had markers for carnivore even stronger than in many modern predators, such as caiman. However, the same study also found that many other small crocodilomorphs actually were herbivores or omnivores. All these were part of Notosuchia, the same group Notosuchus itself was a part of. Indeed, the clade is named after Notosuchus since it was the first Notosuchian that was discovered. Notosuchians were mostly terrestrial species and, like Notosuchus, lived mostly in the southern continent of Gondwana. Besides herbivores and omnivores, it also included medium to large sized predators, such as the Barosuchids and Rosanna androgobe. Other Notosuchians, such as Aeroriposuchus, were small predators like Notosuchus. While less of an oddball compared to many other Notosuchians, the niche held by small predatory land crocs like Notosuchus was one held by crocodilomorphs from before the dinosaurs rose to prominence, and more than twice as long as mammals have been the dominant large land animals. In this regard, even though Notosuchus is now long since extinct, it was part of an impressive evolutionary success story. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something interesting. Have a great day, and if you enjoyed the video, please remember to hit the like button.